or top of the league for a reason, but I guess you can't really afford to defend like that in crucial moments against them or anybody. <laughs> no, that's correct. Um, I thought we were brilliant the first 35 minutes. I thought we were the, the best team actually, um, and created a lot of um, good moments. We were on a day we probably should have shown the last quality or coolness to create a bigger chance or a goal. Um, then we conceded the first goal, and we know we are very good on offensive set pieces, and we know we face a team that are very good on transitions, uh, offensive transitions, probably the best in the world, uh, and also very good from that defensive set pieces, so completely aware of that. Um, and we know we are brave and commit a lot of people forward, which we will do on Tuesday again. Uh, but we made an unlikely arrow uh, that we normally don't do. This is the first goal we conceded from offensive set piece in two years, so uh, uh, I, would I would have loved to avoid that, we couldn't. Um, and then I would say, especially the third goal is the second one we can discuss. The issue. You can always discuss goals, but the third one is also an unlikely goal for us to concede. Everyone knows that we want to go man for man, everyone knows that we are brave there, and we've done that through three years in the Premier League, and we create a lot of goals and chances from that. And this season we conceded zero goals until today, and zero chances, conceded a shot, zero chances. Uh, and today we unfortunately conceded a goal. So, two areas we're normally very good at. So if you want to beat the best in the Premier League, you need to be perfect, and we unfortunately wasn't perfect. Thomas, with those two errors, um, we can look back to games in the past with Tottenham and City as well where there's been a bit of a trend of conceding preventable goals. Would you agree with that? Uh, yeah, completely agree. I think actually we took three good steps forward with Wolves because we we uh, highlighted it, talked about it, did everything, and that was a very good defensive performance. Um, uh, and then we took a step backwards today. Um, but we just need to keep highlighting, keep reinforcing it, and um, keep working mm -hmm. on it. And then, of course, it's, it's, it's some, something we normally are you know, better at. If you look at the games we played over the years, also against Tottenham and City and Liverpool, normally we don't concede that many goals against them. But I think it's fair to say that both three, all three teams are, are pretty OK offensively. And then Frank Onyeka and Johan Wiese as well, back for you. Wiese came on and he looked a very a spark and helped you get that goal as well. How good is it to have those two back? I, I think it's crucial. I think we... Um, I think we've been unbelievable, unbelievable, unlucky with injuries this year. Like unbelievable injury. Then the, the latest one is in, is Ethan Pinnock. You know, last whatever three minutes of the game against Wolves, nasty tackle. Uh, game is done, two nil up. Unlucky. Now he's out to, until after the international break. So we needed the two players to come back, uh, and I agree that both of them were uh, good. Uh, when they came on the pitch, so it's good with fresh energy and um, extra firepower. And just Ethan's out until after the yeah. international break. Yeah. And with all those balls that kind of went over the top today, they played a little more direct than the pool. How much did you miss him today? Um, I would say that they didn't play more direct. Right. They normally play direct, uh, mm -hmm. Liverpool. I think they are very good at it, and they play. They, they love to play behind. So of course, we knew that. Um, uh, um, so that, that was no surprise um, that, that they did that. Um, yeah, but Ethan is, is our best defender. Uh, he showed that over the last five years uh, with us, and I think one of the best defensive uh, centre backs in the division. So, of course, um, I'm not saying he's Van Dyke, but I, I'm pretty sure Klopp prefer to have Van Dyke in his team, and I prefer to have Ethan, Ethan in, in my team. But if he's not there, others need to step in. And I actually think that Christopher played a, a, a decent game. There's things he needs to improve. Um, and until his injury, uh, where he was out for what, it was like five, six weeks, I thought he was in a very good place. So if he can come back to that, I think he'd be a very good replacement for Ethan. Hi, Thomas. Um, good to see you again. Just wanted to uh, kind of follow up on the, the Ethan Pinnock situation. Obviously, the defensive record this season has not been great, and injuries are a factor in that. How difficult is it, though, to take three steps forward and then have an injury suffered to Pinnock because it feels like you've had to change your back three, back five every week for the last few months? Yeah, oh, through the season. I don't think, and we haven't played one game with our strongest lineup, not one. Um, and that, that's just the way it is, no complaints. It's uh, some, se some seasons we know, uh, you know, 
uh, you're more unlucky with with uh, situation, and that's part of football. And if you can't handle that, then you should, shouldn't go into the industry uh, because you can't control it. So what we can control is the pay, um, the players we have available and make sure they perform the best possible way. And um, uh, yeah, we we just need to be ready for that for Tuesday. I'll improve that.